Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be shooting my Stoger M3500 12 gauge with a 24 inch barrel and a rifled choke tube from Carlson's. This combination makes a fine deer gun for those of us who have to hunt with shotguns or those of us who have a shotgun like this lying around and want to turn it into a deer gun. On top I have a Vortex Copperhead 3 to 9 by 40 scope. We'll be taking a few shots from 50 yards and we'll back it up to 100 as well. We'll be shooting two different slugs today. The first will be Federal Power Shock, two and three quarter inch, one ounce slugs. And these are marked on the box as going about 1610 feet per second. The next shell will be a Winchester X Super, three inch rifled slug, one ounce, and it's marked on the box as going 1760 feet per second. The barrel on this Stoger is smooth bore, but at the end I have a rifled choke tube. This ought to help stabilize these rifled slugs as they come out the end of the barrel. We'll see what kind of accuracy we can get. Let's start at 50 yards. While I'm shooting today, after every three shots, I'll be cleaning out the barrel of the gun to prevent excess lead building up and throwing off accuracy of the future shots. First up, we'll shoot the Federal Power Shocks. Here's three shots at 50 yards. First three shots look pretty good. I'm going to clean this barrel and then we'll try the Winchesters. And next we'll shoot the Winchester Super X's. This is a three inch shell with a one ounce rifled slug going 1760 feet per second. Right off the bat I noticed these three inch shells have quite a bit more kick to them even though the rated velocities aren't significantly different. Let's get our last shot downrange. It definitely looks like that group opened up quite a bit more, but neither group is terrible for a rifled slug at 50 yards. We'll clean the gun, give it some time to cool off, and then get back to 100 and shoot these again. All right, I'm back at 100 yards and I'm gonna start with the Winchester Super X's. I wanted to make sure that I could start both loads on a cold barrel and make sure that a hot barrel wasn't the reason why that second group opened up. 
I'll be aiming a little bit higher on the dot at 100 yards. I'm not concerned with hitting bullseyes. I know the gun is zeroed for 50 yards. I just want to check group sizes at this point. All right, so already I can tell that at 100 yards, this load is opening up quite a bit. We'll put a tape measure on that to give you guys a better reference of just how open that group is. But I need to let this barrel cool off a little bit. I'm gonna clean it again, and then we'll shoot the Federal two and three quarter inch shells. All right, barrel's clean, the gun has cooled off a little bit still pretty warm but it's not hot by any means we're gonna go ahead and shoot these federal power shocks now and see what they do at a hundred yards Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm not sure, but I think I put one through the hole of my first shot. Let's go down there and get a better look at these. All right, so right away it's pretty easy to see uh, which slug shot best out of my setup, but um, for the sake of science, I'm gonna go ahead and draw these groups out and get some measurements for you guys. My first group was up here at 50 yards with the two and three quarter inch Federals. And the second group down here was with the three inch Winchester Super X's. And even at 50 yards, you could see there was quite a bit of difference between these two groups. So I imagined that this one especially would open up at 100. What I did not expect was how tight this group would be at 100. I believe we have two in the same hole right here. And these are only three shot groups, so a five shot group probably would have shown a little bit more of an open pattern, but I don't think it would have been anything like what we have down here. So up here, from the outside of one slug hole to the outside of the other is about two and a quarter inches. And down here from the outside of one hole to the outside of the other is three and three quarter inches. Out here at 100, the outside of one hole to the outside of the other is two inches. And then down here with the Winchesters, the outside of one hole 
to the outside of the other is nine inches. This group is just hard to believe that I could repeat that if I'm being completely honest. These slugs are not high powered rifles, but they certainly can get the job done for those of us who have had to use them due to state regulations or those of us who have one gun that we want to do multiple things with and a semi-automatic 12 gauge is certainly a good option for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and God bless.